When you're in a car crash, you're protected by seat Pretty belts and airbags in the front and more airbags on the side. Pretty but what happens when you're rear-ended and you get thrown backwards? Well, Schumann reports on a deadly gap in safety regulations. Yeah. Fox 11 investigates dangerous car seats. We'll Many of the drivers never saw what hit them. A rear-end collision. The car seat breaks. The impact devastating. I actually thought she was dead. I will probably never walk again. And they told me not to expect her to make it through the night. Critics say weak regulations mean most car seats are so flimsy they can be death traps in rear-end crashes, even at slow speeds. My eight-year-old daughter shouldn't be dead in a fender bender. Many safety experts say that beneath the plush padding of most car seats is a metal frame that's little more than a glorified aluminum beach chair. They say the seat that's supposed to have your back often doesn't. I was just waiting at a stoplight. Jacqueline Romine was taking her boyfriend home from work when a pickup rear-ended them. The pickup driver was thrown forward into the seat belt and airbag, but the rear-end collision threw Jacqueline backwards. I felt like I was going back in slow motion. Her protection, the car seat, collapsed, hurling her headfirst into the back. And she just uh, immediately broke out in a tear, saying that she couldn't feel her legs. Paramedics rushed her to the hospital, where doctors found she'd broken her neck in four places. The bone was completely crushed. She's now a paraplegic in a wheelchair. I'm paralyzed from the chest down. Romine's attorney, Brian Chase, specializes in auto defect lawsuits. He's still working her case. He says she's paralyzed because of a widespread problem. I would say 95 plus percent of all vehicles on the road, which is tens of millions, all have this defect in it. He says that defect is the weakness of the frames and gears in car seats, even when those seats meet government safety standards. The problem is we've got a watered down federal standard. He's talking about National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, or NHTSA, Regulation 207, long a target of safety consultants like Paul Sheridan. Any seat that merely complies with 207 places that occupant at risk. So, so it's just about everyone. And the allegation that car seats are often just glorified aluminum lawn chairs? A flimsy lawn chair would get through the federal regulations as they are currently written. Sheridan says that means even low speed crashes can be fatal. A 15 mile an hour rear impact will collapse most of the seats that merely comply with 207. Stephanie Collins. She was out driving with her mother and daughter, Crystal. My daughter was sitting behind me. They were struck from behind at about 30 miles an hour. Stephanie's seat gave way into Crystal. She was taking her gurgling too. She wasn't great. One minute. Crystal died at the hospital. That's the actual car. You can see both seats are laid down. Chase reconstructed that accident in a crash test like this one. Stephanie Collins' head went back struck her nine-year-old daughter in the chest and ruptured her aorta. Damage to the vehicles was minor. Sheridan says the government's own tests clearly demonstrate the problem and have for years. Sheridan says the answer is simple, require stronger seats, already common on cars like Mercedes and a few American cars like the Chrysler Sebring. And the cost fix? I would estimate anywhere from five to six dollars and we have a safe front seat. Nobody's been tracking just how many deaths and injuries have been caused by weak car seats. But the relatively small cost to fix the problem enrages those who've already paid such a huge price. They're calling for change. They could have done something about this before it killed my child. Phil Schumann, Fox 11 News. Oh. Poor mother. Well, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration did not respond to our request for comment. Congress is holding hearings this week on major reforms to regulators in the wake of the Toyota recall.